wanted to have something that we could share with academic colleagues, but also with practitioners, and we've got a nice mixed audience, and we've also got students as well. The uh, research is funded by the ESRC and the RGC in Hong Kong. Um, it was a uh, study looking at east-west comparisons. The study has a lot of um, potential for impact but one of the really important areas is we found a knowledge gap between what practitioners do and what they know and so in addressing that we can start to formulate courses that prepare HR professionals for the sort of roles they're going to be undertaking. We've also now got a contrast with the UK and, and, and Hong Kong and that, that's interesting. We can see that, they, that, that HR is done differently um, uh, across different geographies. But um, added to that, we've also reflected around um, the, the uh, ability of academics to contribute measures of, of, that, that, that have an impact on organisational performance. Today, hopefully, people will get a, a number of perspectives. They're getting an academic perspective, they're getting a pr practitioner perspective on the opportunities for HR, but equally, I think, a realistic view of some of the challenges that we face and the things that we need to address. I think it just adds to the discussion in, on two fronts. First of all, we don't know enough about HRM departments and what HRM departments do. Uh, and HRM practitioners do, and the more that we can focus on that, the better we will be. Uh, I also think that we do need to start taking a more comparative view. Uh, human resource management is different in different countries. Uh, it's run differently, and it should be run differently, because there are different circumstances and different factors are important. I like the whole feel about this sort of thing and I think the more of this kind of thing that we do, uh, the better. I think we are at a really important time and this is a very important time for HR to step up, to engage in these bigger strategic issues and to build the kinds of capabilities and confidence for the future which I'm absolutely convinced will create a, a tremendous opportunity for many people in this profession for the long term.